the roots of the polynomial 2x cube minus 11x square plus 17x minus 6 are the radii of three concentric circles, the ratio of their area when arranged from the largest to the smallest is pink. And so 2x cube minus 11x square plus 17x minus 6 is a polynomial and it has, uh, obviously it has roots. You have to find out uh, the roots and the choices are telling us the roots are reasonable. They are in some uh, integer terms. 6 is to 2 is to 1, I am not interested in. Area 9, 4, 1, I like. So the roots could be 3, 2, 1. 16, 6, 3, 6 seems root 16, root 6, root 3, 4, root 6, root 3 may be possible. But then I am not so sure, right? I am not such a big fan of that. Let's see if all of these have 1 in it. So maybe 1 is one of the roots of this. How do I find out? I substitute x equal to 1 and see if it works. So into this. And so if x equal to 1 satisfies this, x minus 1 should be a factor of this. P of 1 should not exist. And when we put this to 0, and if 1 were a root, then x equal to 1 will satisfy this. Factorizing this, x minus 1 will be a factor. Reminder when of a dividing by x minus 1 should be 0, p of 1 should be 0. And so does 1 satisfy this? p of 1 is 2 minus 11 plus 17 minus 6, 19 minus 17, 2 doesn't work. And 1 doesn't work, but that's, they're not shutting down the door because 1 by 2 could work or larger number could work. So, so it's not that the root has to be 1, only the ratio is tested. And so some of the roots is 11 by 2, interesting, product of the roots is 3, so maybe we're dealing with some small numbers, we're dealing with small numbers. So product of the roots is 3, maybe 3 is a root. Maybe some two features and with a 1 by 3 or a 1 by 2 somewhere there. And so I'm not, 1 is not a root. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say uh, radii of three concentric circles. It looks like all three numbers should be positive, the radii. So I'm going to say 1 doesn't work, I'm going to try 2. 0 doesn't work, very clearly. 2 will try, what is P of 2? 2 into 8 minus 11 into 4 plus 17 into 2 minus 6. 16 minus 44 plus 34 minus 6. These two add up to 50, these two add up to 50. P of 2 is 0. 2 is a factor of this. 2 is a root of this or x minus 2 is a factor. Now we can say 2 worked. Can I find another, guess another thing? Because one of the roots is 2. The other two roots, some of the roots here is 11 by 2. Product of the roots. Ah, it's 3, minus, plus, minus, minus of, minus x by 2, 3. One of the roots is 2. So from 11 by 2, subtract 2, this is 7 by 2. From 3, divide by 2, this is 3 by 2. The other two roots add up to 7 by 2, multiply to give 3 by 2. Got this. 3 plus 1 by 2, 3 into 1 by 2 right. or 3 is a root 1 by 2 is a root I can substitute and verify I can substitute 1 by 2 2 into 1 by 2 cube minus 11 into 1 by 2 square plus 17 into 1 by 2 minus 6 it's a pain I'm going to substitute for 3 if 3 works I'm going to take it for granted that this will work 2 into 27 minus 11 into 9 plus 17 into 3 minus 6 54 minus 99 plus 51 minus 6, yeah, 105, 105, 3 works. Or this expression is x minus 2 into x minus 3 into x minus half. Or that concentric circles have radii, half, 2 and 3. Or ratio 1 is to 4 is to 9. Areas, when you square them, sorry, 1 is to 4 is to 6. When you square them, 1, 16, 36. I'm just multiplying by 2, half, 2 and 3. 1 is to 4 is to 6. Areas will be square. 1 is to 16 is to 36. Largest to the smallest. So 36 is to 16 is to 1. Done. A nice question. We have to effectively factorize this. 1 didn't work. We tried 2. Once we found 2, 3 works. Half works. Half, 2 and 3 are the 3 roots. The roots are in the ratio 1 is to 4 is to 6. Areas will be in the ratio square of that.